clean up their communities. Tonight, many neighborhood associations in Kansas City have new demands for homeowners who do not take care of their property. Lisa Benson joins us live. She's near 49th and Prospect. And Lisa, what exactly can these organizations do? Well, right now they are using the Abandoned Housing Act to take possession of vacant and abandoned properties like the one right here behind me, and they're actually giving the properties to people who want to take care of them. The Abandoned Housing Act has been around for 10 years, but the city has recently started aggressively using it to acquire properties in Kansas City's urban core. The Town Fork Creek Neighborhood Association has acquired three properties using the act, and they want more. Their hope is to use the act to take care of these properties and give them to people who want to take care of them and actually want to live in them. Legal Aid of Western Missouri has contracted with the city to open 60 Abandoned Housing Act cases this year and file 15 lawsuits. They're also working with homeowners over the age of 60 on their plans for the future of their property. And one of the causes of vacancy is uh, people not having a plan in place for their property when they go. So this is one way that we can set up a plan for the property for when they pass it. Now, right now, Legal Aid is working with 20 different homeowners associations to combat vacant and blighted properties in Kansas City. Reporting live, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.